Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? So what do we have for Aquarius? And this could be for wherever you have Aquarius in your chart, okay? So anyway, what do we have for Aquarius for the next seven days? door opportunities are waiting for you so you have a new door that is waiting for you to open it you have to open the door okay right now the door is closed you have to open the door so there's an opportunity that is waiting for you you haven't gotten it yet so it's like it's like you you haven't been through that doorway yet but there is an opportunity that is waiting for you right now it's behind closed doors Double doors, double doors, whatever these double doors, behind these double doors, there is an opportunity that is waiting for you. Dog, protection from a powerful, powerful, it's still Mercury retrograde, I do believe. Protection from a powerful friend. So there is some sort of protection here for you. You are protected. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. So we got some, some darkness here, okay, okay? Because forests are usually pretty dark, okay? So I think that they're, you know, you may be struggling. You may be struggling right now. Maybe there's some confusion. Maybe you can't see where you're going. Um, on the bottom, we have bird perch, waiting for news, package, or letter. This is waiting. You're still waiting. And then the opportunity is waiting for you as well. It's like you're waiting for something to happen, but you have to take action. So that's pretty interesting. There is some sort of protection here. And there is, you know, some unclear thinking. <coughs> it feels like you're waiting when, yeah, you need to take action. So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Hit and run. Hit and run. Now hit and run can be many different things, okay? Hit and run could be a one night stand. Hit and run could be a car accident. Uh, hit and run could be, you know, hit, getting punched. Could also be the other kind of hit, okay? This, so we do have a hit and run here. There is a hit and run in, you know. Mm -hmm. Ooh, unfaithful. So we got somebody here that is very, very, very unfaithful. Be careful who you're dealing with, okay? Because we definitely have a liar, okay? We have a liar here. Somebody is lying to you. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that is single, you know, or you're single. Say, say if you're single, this person's not single. They say that they're single, they're not single. They're being unfaithful. You may be being unfaithful. There is unfaithfulness here. Definitely there is. Um, we have somebody here that's lying, that is not telling the truth. There is somebody that's being unfaithful, no doubt about it. They may, be, they may be being unfaithful to their partner, you know, and they're hiding it very, very well. You know, you could be being lied to. There is lies here. Absolutely. There's a new opportunity that's waiting for you that you haven't. It, it, you, it, it's behind closed doors, okay? You don't know what this opportunity is yet. What do we have for Aquarius? Page of Wands. Take a look at that page of wands. It looks like there's an adventure here. This is like a treasure hunt or something like that. I also heard hide and seek. Um, page of wands, a new adventure. This is exciting, very exciting, having fun. Uh, yeah, you're going to be engaging in something that is extremely exciting. This is fun. This could be a new suitor that is entering your life. 
whatever. It's a very exciting time, but there may be, you know, I think that you do need to be careful because this is somebody who doesn't really have a lot of staying power. This may be somebody that is full of passion. They're full of excitement. It's a lot of fun, but as soon as the game is over, it's over. Okay, this is somebody who likes to play games. This is definitely a game of some sort. Somebody's do playing something. So I feel like you're definitely dealing with a player. You're probably going to get an offer or an invite from somebody. It could be a fire sign. We have King of Wands reversed on the bottom. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have the Page of Wands as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It feels like it's fire energy. This person is very spontaneous. They may be, you know, you may be very attractive to this person. This person is 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 boisterous, you know. They they're very optimistic, you know, they have they're very fun to be around, but King of Wands reverse. This is somebody that definitely doesn't have any staying power, okay? They probably are not telling you the complete truth. They like attention, you know. This is somebody that is generally the center of attention. So somebody is going to be looking for your attention. You're dealing with somebody that is an attention seeker, okay? Hide and seek. Oh, okay. So this is an attention seeker. So somebody is going to be, and that's an offer or an invite. You're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from somebody that, um, you know, it looks, it looks exciting, it looks good, but once it's, it, you know, it ends just as quickly as it starts, put it that way. When the games, when, after the, you know, it's like the lights go out, because there's a light here, the lights go out, and then, and then when they come on, it's over, you know, it's over, it's a game's over. This is like a hit and run, okay? sexually for some of you it's like a sexual hit and run one one night stand you definitely need to be careful you're dealing with somebody that's hiding something they're hiding a partnership but in, but in they're seeking this is hide and seek oh my god they're hiding something and they're seeking Three of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles reversed. Lack of togetherness, lack of teamwork, no respect, un uh, not working out. Something isn't working out. Three of Pentacles reversed. It's like not putting in effort, not being appreciated. Somebody's not being appreciated. There's a lack of togetherness. There could be a third party situation here. There's disloyalty. Page of Pentacles. Now, Page of Pentacles is that golden opportunity. It is that offer, a new prospect, a new endeavor, a new project, a gift, an offer, something. Somebody is going to be receiving. This is a proposal to go down this path. So somebody, is, there is a new prospect here, a new opportunity. Death reversed. Oh, just fell right out. moon reversed there is definitely something that is hidden somebody is hiding something it's not over yet they're looking for something from you death reversed that is unable to release unable to let go the moon is hidden it's secrets truths being revealed could be dealing with the Pisces, could be dealing with the Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're... You have a new opportunity here to work with somebody who's not going to put in a lot of effort. I feel like you, you're looking for something solid. I feel like you have a lot to offer. I feel like you're ready. I feel like you're ready to start something new. But whoever it is that is coming around you is, uh, I don't know if this person has addictions or they're still, it's not over with somebody from their past. It's not, it's not. 
They haven't, they haven't separated. They haven't ended it with the, the death is a de ending. It's reversed. The moon is the past. Somebody hasn't ended something with somebody from their past. And they just, maybe they just need an ego boost. We also, this, we could even have a near death experience here. If this isn't about a relationship, this could be a hit and run. It could be a hit and run because a death card reverse could be a near death experience. I mean, we have addictions here with the moon card. The moon is a card about a fear, addictions, illusion, paranoia, nightmares. Um, all is not as it seems. I feel like we, I feel like we have somebody here that um, is definitely maybe there maybe there's an addiction that is being hidden. Something is being hidden. Death reverse. It's not over yet. Something isn't over. It's it's but it's not going to end well because there's some sort of illusion. There's some sort of fantasy. There is. There is. This isn't going to work out. You're dealing with somebody that is, it, I don't know if this person is offering you the world, right? They're offering you something, you know, and there's, it's just, it's not going to work out. Three of Pentacles reverse. It's not going to work out. This person has secrets. They lie. Moon reverse. This is a liar. They cheat. Three of Wands reversed. Now that is unprepared, lack of foresight, and unaware. And then I saw that with the Moon card, unaware. You may be unaware that you're dealing with, I feel like you're dealing with a player. I do feel like the Page of Pentacles is one of my player cards as well. So I feel like you are definitely dealing with a player who likes to play games. Hide and seek is a game. Totally unprepared, not seeing. Three of Wands reversed, not seeing, not seeing. Uh, you may be made a poor decision somebody has made a poor decision three of wands reversed uh lack of acceptance sudden departure going home somebody wants to go home you know it's like they they they're going home. Somebody's going home. You know, it doesn't lead to a new beginning. It doesn't lead to a new life. There's secrets. There's lies. There's something that is hidden. Somebody may have been uh, communicating with somebody from their past, a previous relationship, and they want, they're going back to that. They're going back to that. Maybe that's why it hasn't been working out. It feels like there's a third party situation here where it's like, there's a Virgo, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, something about going back, not well received, wanting to go back, wishing they could go home. Uh, there's some sort of addictions or codependency here. They haven't ended it with their past. They've been lying about it. They've been, there's a such thing as called emotional cheating. You know, when you build intimacy with people, even if it's somebody from the past, you know, if you're having those conversations, you know, and that you should be having with your partner. So you're on Facebook Messenger, or you're doing the text thing, and you're you're telling this person about your whole life. You're sh sharing your whole life with this person while you have a partner. That's called emotional cheating. You know, if it's somebody, you know, that you have some sort of uh, emotional connection to. Um, it's emotional cheating. It's, de it's developing intimacy. Okay, so I, and that's what I see. I feel like we have somebody here that has been being unfaithful with their partner, with somebody from their past that they haven't ended it with completely. But there is something that is about to be revealed. Somebody may be traveling. They may be traveling. It could be happening very, very suddenly. I feel like some success has been taking long. It's been taking long to be successful. It hasn't been working out because whoever you're dealing with, and maybe it's you, there's somebody here that keeps uh, clinging to the past, okay, or they're still communicating with the past, you know, you have to let the past go, you can't, the past, and, and whether it's you or the other person, you know, if you can't let the past go, you're not ready, you're not ready for this uh, commitment, okay, Definitely have somebody here that is focusing on the past. I 
It could also be the past is coming back. The past is coming back. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Something isn't over yet. Somebody hasn't ended it. Karma. Judgment card. This is a card of the past as well. It's interesting. The past is all over in this reading. So we have somebody here that... This is the end of things. It's a life-changing decision. It's the end of a trial. This is this is guilty or not. Making a judgment call. Being held accountable for choices, for decisions. The truth. The truth being revealed. And I see that with the moon reversed as well. Somebody has been uh, communicating with somebody from the past. There could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past. Having a hard time releasing the past. Getting a solid opportunity from the past. The past is coming back. The past is coming back around. Oh, the tower on the bottom. Massive disruption, massive change. Um, a shock, a surprise. Uh, upheaval, chaos, dismantling of a false sense of security. Things come crashing down. This is a downfall. Um, definitely a hit. This is hitting the ground. So something is going on. Somebody's... It doesn't sound good by the looks of things. It doesn't. It doesn't sound good now, does it? So anyhow, the judgment is the end of things. It's a life-changing decision. Truth's being revealed. Um... I feel like you have another opportunity, but you're, you know, you keep focusing on the past as well. This past is haunting you. I, or it's haunting the person that you're with. Maybe it's not you. It may be the person that you're with. I feel like there's, or that you're asking about. There's somebody here that is reconciling with somebody from the past. At, or they're communicating with somebody from the past. They're unable to let go of the past. This is a massive change. It's a false sense of security crumbling. This could definitely be an accident. There could be an accident here. We may have somebody here that... Um, has some sort of addictions. Um, they could end up in court. We may even have somebody, I mean, I hate to see te say texting and driving, but that could be part of this right here. There is definitely a hit and run. There is somebody here that is moving too fast. The Page of Wands moves very, very, very fast. There's lack of foresight. You may see something. You may not see something coming. There could be a near-death experience here. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but the death card reverse, a near-death experience, it is. But there is also there is also somebody here that is being unfaithful. So I'm not sure what story is yours, but there's there's some sort of uh, paranoia. There's fear. There's the past um, karma here. There's karma be playing out. Somebody is getting some karma. I don't know if they've cheated. You know, cheating comes back to haunt you later on in life. There, ha and, and maybe that's what this is because the karma card is mirroring the unfaithful card. I don't know if you've ever cheated on somebody and now you're getting, you know, there's karma that is being played out. There could be a loss of a job or a loss of income here. Wishing the three of wands reverse wishing somebody may be wishing that they could be go, go back It's like there's their success has been taking a long time and it's because of something they did in the past You know, there's a need to act with integrity the page of Pentacles is where somebody finds the moral backbone to do the right thing and go down that new path and uh, Start over with integrity. So somebody is going to be doing something um, doing the right thing, finding their moral backbone to uh, commit to the new path. I mean, that page of pentacles is that new doorway that we're waiting, the opportunity that's waiting for you. You do have a golden opportunity that is waiting for you, but you're not seeing it. There's lack of foresight here, three of wands reversed. You're not seeing it because of somebody that you're dealing with. You're dealing with somebody that is... 
It's a false sense of security. And you're staying put in that false sense of security. Maybe because it's comfortable or there's fear of being alone or... Um, yeah, I think it's fear of being alone or something like that. Or there's some sort of fear here. That moon card. Illusion. Codependency. It is a codependency thing. I don't want to be alone. Truths are going to be revealed. I feel like we have a third party situ... Excuse me. Have a third party situation here. We definitely do. Somebody's made a poor decision. Three of Pentacles reversed, Three of Wands reversed. Those are both decisions that were made and, and now it's not working out. And there's karma, there's, there's judgment, there's consequences. There is consequences. There's consequences. So there is some sort of consequences here. Somebody's getting some consequences for, uh, I don't know, maybe being naive or uh, previous karma or whatever. Could be dealing with Pisces. It could be dealing with Scorpio. We have Scorpio a couple of times. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Unprepared. Focusing on the past. Somebody's past is coming back to haunt them. Whether they're getting karma for cheating or being unfaithful. Or what? Or something like that. Or somebody is reconnecting with somebody from the past. They're going home. They're going home. Somebody's going home. The death card reverse is kind of like this holding on is getting old. It can be a disaster though. There's been a delay. There's been a delay. There's been a setback. There's been, it's like the third lethargy. Lethargy. Um, wasting time somebody's been wasting time with that three of wands reversed Ooh, empress empress gives birth to a new life right so this is a birth it's a rebirth it's an uh, it's time it's time for a birth it's it's time it's time for a delivery it's time for a new life it is time for a new life So somebody's about to give birth to a new life. There could be news of a pregnancy as well. There could be a seed that is being planted. Just saying. Somebody may get caught cheating. Truth's being revealed. They could, you know, there's unfaithfulness. Somebody could get pregnant. Absolutely. There is definitely some news coming. And it's going to be a shock with that tower card. Absolutely. There's a shock. There's some sort of, there's going to be an event that changes your life. Put it that way. It's a life-changing event. It's a fertile time. It's a time of growth. It is a time of growth. This is a blessing. It's interesting because the tower is major upheaval, chaos, a breakdown of some sort. It's, it's, it's a dismantling of a false sense of security where you're forced, you know, it's a disaster. It's a disaster, but this is a blessing. So this is a blessing. It's a, it's a blessing that that fell apart because this is the ultimate love. It's unconditional love. So there is unconditional love to be had, but there's a need to deal with some sort of pain to get that unconditional love. It's, this is, it's painful. And there we do have a painful release here. Judgment is a release. It's the end of things. It is karma. Okay. It's a wake-up call of some sort. I feel like there is an awakening. Somebody's about to get a wake-up call of a lifetime. They've been not seeing something about a person and the truth is about to be revealed. And you need to be very, very careful because there's definitely a liar here that, you know, is getting some sort of... Uh, There's karma.
what goes around comes around, right? That's what karma is. So, you know, some of you may be looking for something solid. You're looking for something stable. I don't know if there's cheating and you get yourself with somebody that, you know, what goes around comes around that, you know, does the same thing to you. And I'm not saying that you did that, but it could go vice versa. You know, it could be vice versa. Um, we definitely have a third party situation here that has been hidden that is going to be revealed. I also feel like we have somebody here that hasn't been putting in much effort um, because they were holding on to the past. If you're single, if you're single and you're watching this, maybe you've been clinging to the past. You've been clinging or somebody's been clinging to you from the past, you know. I do see things stepping it up. I feel like for some of you, you may be unprepared for a commitment or unprepared for a golden opportunity. You know, maybe you've been held back by fear. You got a new suitor here. You know, and it's and maybe it's it's time. It's time for your new life. It's time to let somebody take care of you. Somebody that will nurture you and take care of you. There is somebody here that will nurture you and take care of you. If you, this is like if you're saying, well, it doesn't matter. This is nurturing and caring and unconditional love. So there is some sort of uh, unconditional love to be had, but you have to go through that door. Open an opportunity is waiting for you. It's waiting for you to take it. Do you want to keep clinging to the past or clinging to somebody that is involving you in a third party situation? Okay, I think it's time for you to refocus. I feel like it's time for you to refocus. You need to refocus on your path. You need to refocus on your future. Stop clinging to whoever this person is that has addictions, that has been holding you back. Okay, maybe this person cheated on you and now you're extremely fearful. You know, whatever. There's, I mean, I can keep going all day. You have an opportunity to make, I mean, you're going to, you, this is an opportunity, the Page of Pentacles, to make a life-changing decision with the Karma card, the Judgment card, and the Tower card. This is forced change with the, with the Tower card. You're going to, this is a shock. It is a surprise. Maybe you weren't ready for it. You weren't prepared for it. Some of you, you know, uh... have a new life that it feels like you're not ready for it death card reversed is like endings lead to new beginnings but it's not over yet you know it's like you haven't released the past release the past you have a new beginning here it's absolutely beautiful could be with a taurus or a libra doesn't have to be but this is somebody that is very nurturing very caring very loving very kind domestic This could also be you, or if you are a feminine watching this, you are the pick. You are the, you, you are valuable. You're beautiful. Know your value. Don't let go of your value. This is the birth of a new life. But it comes after pain. You have to release the pain first to get that blessing. So I feel like this week is going to be a big, 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 big week because of that tower and judgment. I mean, that's, that's majors. Those are majors. Major life change. The end of things. The end of a trial. Going down a new path. Starting over. Putting in effort after not putting in effort because of the past. Good luck.